Give us no po uh, Got free time This afternoon If you wanted uh, To have that picnic Can't say I ever been excited For a picnic before But Let me know If you want To come out To the park today Yeah Do Of course I love to hang out Cool You want a Carpool Like we plan We got We get to ride You get to ride In the dragon Dragon wagon <laughs> The dragon wagon Hey, they're gonna call my car that the dragon wagon. They're gonna be all queen with fire on the side. Qua- dragon wagon. <laughs> awesome. Let me take you my address. Uh, it wasn't more than uh, 10 minutes before. E- oh my. Oh god, no. I forgot Chubby was here. Wait, Chubby is here and his shot is uh, right there on his bed. Please be red pants. Please be red pants. Uh, I, Chubby, right? Oh hell, no. I didn't end up giving you my number, did I? I'm pretty sure I will have remember. Or was that the yes was, weed weakness the weakness night guy Tommy Tommy. He is here to pick me up, bird brain. Oh, and how many? What the fuck? I didn't. I check if it was I check if it was a, the, a hot guy before I answered and that's why they keep refu- refusing to send any piece of driver's here that and that uh, 32 year old cranny lady with the nose piercing she's always cool for me <laughs> wait does that mean you two are two cops I'm sorry, Sanic. My brother thinks that just because there's a guy calling, that is for him. Uh, no, that's fine. Nice to see you again, Chubby. Again? Okay, this guy just end up with more and more questions. I'm gonna have to keep a list. Psst. He's a honk of a sourus. If you mess up, you don't mind if I... I'm sure Sanic isn't deaf. Now, come on. Say goodbye, Chubby. Me and Seneca are going out for a while. Goodbye, Chubby. Have fun, you too. He's scoffing off before Seneca could wake, him, wake himself up to an answer. He's a little odd, huh? Only when he get a whiff of testo room, you'll see he's, uh, he's was tackly born with all his replaced his replaced by rainbows glitter. Ah, well, trust me, I'm used to it. You ready to go? Sure, ready to roll. Ready to rumble. Set his dragon wag, dragon wagon. It was the last four door monster with that last cover truck bit. It suited him down to the ground, all waxen and chrome finish. All waxed and chrome finish. I suppose it wasn't exactly surprising that he was kind of a guy who have a car like this. What with our first date out thing being muscular shirt and the gun wings. At least got the impression from the drawer in the tire trunk bed that he actually used it for hardware and supplies better to be prepared then not I guess sneaking off prepared uh, speaking <laughs> sneaking speaking of prepared I couldn't help but wondering if he gone overboard a little with prep from the bags in the back seat out of the sun it looked like he gotten snacks and drinks for at least a half a dozen of us Sanix wasn't exactly a small guy but I couldn't imagine him making his way through too much of this 
we share uh, how our days have been as if we do play all these work all these work are the best like Pink Floyd uh, Dice Dway uh, Pink Floyd not really work is uh, uh, of what is it uh, I was close to say email but that's not true I cannot remember maybe it's work maybe I'm, I'm just off anyway Pink Floyd Dice Dway Dr. Hook uh, Cleanse Clearwater uh, what do all the uh, uh, what's it called uh, I'm leaving oh, yeah, they were, uh, and some other guys uh, I really love all these uh, work the best there wasn't much really to say on either of uh, of our accounts. I mostly been waiting to spend more time with Zanuck, uh, and he had been on a graveyard shifted previous night to the at the club, where he said mostly involved getting the drunk, exhausting club goes, craps, and rolling everyone out of the closing time. <sighs> the picnic spot was up at the hillside road, a pretty common spot for nature washing and couple to meet. Up, we pull up in the lot and Sanic hop out of the off to unlock one of the sliding organized from under the racing bed of the truck. He did indeed have a couple of blankets all set up. Which was good. I been so busy trying to get out of the house before Chubby could jump Sanic bone that I forgot all about bringing any of that stuff. There was a slide of uh, there was a slide of air and tension about the whole thing as he smiled and tossed me one of the bundle. There was plenty of crazy spot away from the slidey. So we looking picnic table and we decide on a nice place that look down the steep hill toward a bay and was a little further from the parking lot. Sanic has said we could spend the time talking about him and I had to admit I've had to have far more questions than answers but I wouldn't be rushing into things too much for forcing him to open up more. Well, I watching him sorting through the back of the edge of our little square of the blanket land. It has a little hard to read what he was thinking. <coughs> Regardless, it was a beautiful day, not too humid, with the breeze rolling up f uh, from the bay. The sun was shining high in the sky without much uh, fret of being overcast by a few stray clouds. I pick up the last bag, some sodas it seems, and pat it back over the grass for his truck to where San Sanic uh, was still looking through things with his back turn. A playful idea crossed my mind with Sanic on his knees and his back turn, it will be perfect time for some of wins for jumping me at the gun win and break the ice a little. Hmm. I set the picnic gear down on uh, to get extra close to Sanic that this shows him. I move close hand waist, I jump the last two step, bring my hand down firmly on his bald shoulder with a clap. Got everything. Yank okay, slapping his bread go scaly shoulders was aching to one of those who was Sell this high five, leaving my palm tingling. He didn't jump a little. He did jump a little, though. Looking back at me with a backholding respect, that as I threw up my eyebrow to let him know I did it on perfect. What? Call it rains for slapping me around. P 
payback for all the rough stuff before I could say any other word I was on my back in a blur of motion he might have took my leg out with his tail or used his arm he moved too fast for me to really tell as I land a back fist into the blanket and sent one of the bags flying out his shadow cast over me as he sat on my face keep keep me pinned you know you know it's not too smart to sneak up on a dragon especially none who is bigger than you I screamed to free myself but he wasn't having it mm. I was face to face a uh, spell out under him I bit my lip ever so gently tilting my head to the sides and putting on my best puppy dog eyes and if I know exactly what I'm doing maybe this isn't all my plan to get you wild up <coughs> nah alright then I guess I fell into a trap huh you're too cute you're too cute for your own good you know with a grunt standing roll of me with the playful dance, he stretched his wing out and cracked his leg then span his span of his wing was impressive even if he usually kept them tucked motorways away he trotted uh, and pointed to the bag with the sodas hey now looking you're fooling around means we gonna get soaked if we gonna if we when we try and open these I string up the bag he had uh, caused to spill and cover some of upside down cupcakes that had left most of their icing on the plastic container. Not the only casual of war here. Not the only casualty of war here. Uh, I guess that was my fault too, huh? Next time we do better to plan more in advance so I can get some stuff to Sanic this. Sadek, this bread what have cost you. Hey, you bought yourself. That's the most important part, right? Anyway, there's some more cakes thing in this in there somewhere, I think. We started to pick through the service stuff as we got cozy on the blanket side by side, sitting opposite each other and splitting snacks back and forth as we came to stuff we like. Sanic pointed playfully at the cakes again and couldn't help but laugh. You know, for for probably the biggest, toughest guy I ever known, you can be a big kid sometimes, you know. Who wouldn't be the first to say it? Guess everyone is a bit of a kid at heart, right? Or maybe it's just hanging with fun people that gets me all wild up. <coughs> He signed and tossed a stick of jerky my way. Mm, jerky, I love jerky. I have never actually, I have never actually uh, tasted real uh, homemade jerky. I only make uh, taste those you can buy from supermarket, and I actually don't know if that's the what will taste or not. But I like, I like those. But I could really got uh, uh, think about trying real jerky. Um, a bowl as he chewed on a big piece uh, fast fully for a moment hey listen since I promised you since I promised you to chat about my stuff I wanted to ask first uh, is this kind of rough housing stuff okay with you housing in case you haven't noticed I don't exactly do the whole button bunk thing just figure out I ask I gotta admit when you start with the big eyes and the playfulness it drives me a little nuts but I don't want you playing that up just for me actually do suit me more I have to say I don't know it's one of those things I 
Uh, I don't know. Ah, fuck it. I don't really think much in terms of top and bottom. I guess so as long we're doing stuff that the other person enjoys, that's all that matters to me. Uh, it's good to know that you are not into certain stuff in that regard, but I've never been one for specific prefer. You know, considering Rose and how you act generally, I didn't really think you had much of a problem taking control and playing the more dominant role. Hey, I'm not saying I don't like be to be the bust. Uh, don't like to be bust around a little. I just am really one for being bust on the receiving end of certain stuff. If you get me, I flushed a little and smirk, putting down the stick of jerky I was holding. We suddenly felt a little too love to be growing on. I was glad that. My more pre- respective attitude wouldn't put sack off though. I was enjoying getting more time with him like this. Ah, <laughs> well, putting it that way certainly helps me. Well, like I said, no problem here. I'm not saying I might not let you know what. I'm not saying I might not let you know what I want from time to time, but at least I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed by the wear request now that you say that. I like how dominating you can be. I didn't exactly expect much less from a guy who come to a date in a muscle shirt. Talking to talking so casually like this was a certain really nice uh, consider already found myself pinning under him. This afternoon wasn't exactly my, a premature question. Part of me wondered if I was washing things a little for him to ask my sexual performance, but I su- uh, suppose we had met a noticeably sexual club and I couldn't blame him wanted to know after I failed hook up the first night. I guess you were pretty obvious about your intention and prefer from the get-go. If I didn't think I could work with that, I would have said so. Just wanted it out there, you know, since we are clearing the air and all. He smiled as he carefully opened a soda that nevertheless threatened to fizz up like a foam bathtub. I'm actually good to open, uh, as long as it's not cans, then I'm actually really good to open uh, sodas that have been uh, shake. It's all about the uh, how you open it. First you open, you just need to um, just so they have a little bit, you know, when you just get past that uh, uh, PVC lock it has, uh, when you really break the seal, and just when when you get past that, then you actually can hear this. Then you just let this for a little while, then um, you a little more. Then you can see this fossil up. Then you get a little closed and closed again. Then open a little again, then you get see the first up, then you close it again, and then the third or fourth time, then it should be fine. <laughs> Unless, depending on how much you have actually checked this sort of course. Uh, this is what happened when you drop uh, 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 careful open soda, you must let face up like a foam bathtub. He threw me an eyeball and said, see, see, this is what happened when you drop the bags. And I rolled my eyes and stuck out my thong, tongue on 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 the we on the things a few soldiers just po- past trees. Uh, I know, I know. Yes, I didn't know dummy boyfriend will be so much like having an ex on mom around. He chuckled at that. Well, listen, I used to pretty high maintenance boyfriend. I'm used to pretty high maintenance and maintain maintenance whatever boyfriends you were the first guy I ever dated for a while who wasn't a bit of a spoiled princess I'm doing my best to adjust to so- so- socially refined relationship here refined okay you had some shitty boyfriend if you think I'm that refined. Look, I'm 
I'm pretty new to the whole serious dating thing. I mean, fuck a picnic. I haven't been to a picnic since I was a kid, let alone host of one. Hey, you did great. I don't think we gonna get through even half of this food, but it's kind of sweet that you try so hard. You're doing fine. And dating her, I guess we both said it about. Said it about. Oh, let me check how many times you made you my heart skip a little today. Three times? Yeah, I mean, that's what this is, right? I like you, you like me. We both even sitting on a damn tree like the kids' songs. Haha, <laughs> songs like a date to me. I try even, I try very hard to think of something exactly witty to say in response to that. I like him, he like me. Ko e s s e n g. I really like he's just been staring weakly at him with a cocktail, such a health with health way down my throat to watch the show. I chuckle a little, the flush from my net scroll. What? Are you okay there, Keeper Snowball? Yeah, I just expect I just didn't expect you to say that. What? That I like you? I made it. You grown on to me. Remember when I said the first person in a long time that I've been able to just talk to, you know? I wasn't lying about that. He took a swing of his twing, smugly and squashed, and searched for a response, I guess, out here with just the breeze and our little feast for company. He felt a little more comfortable being home. I suppose that me was fair enough. The gun range wasn't exactly the place for a heart to heart. I didn't take you for a snappy type, Sonic. Snappy? I ain't fucking snappy. I am. I ain't fucking snappy. I just in touch with my feeling. All right. Aha, big deal. I am fucking fat. I'm just big boned. Aha, big deal. <laughs> I laugh and remember Jason Hoyt. How Sonic was really just a big snap on the, all those muscles. He put on a big show, but I could tell that he let things sip deep too. We nibbled through a few pre-packaged sandwich and sat in quiet company, company ship uh, for a while until I figure out. Oh fuck! Sorry. <coughs> figure it out it was time enough to learn more about Senec. So Senec, if it was if if this isn't going to be a shitty question, you said you not had to had much chance to talk with someone. You seem pretty popular back at the club, and if Kobe is much to go on. See, that shit difference. That was mostly Rose's idea. Rose's idea, you mean the whole flirting thing? Yeah, that was a big mess. Hell, it took you taking off for yourself for me to actually put my foot down on all that. He he hasn't replied to my chick since he stormed off. Like I said, I wouldn't be the first guy to act like that. I just have a shitty habit of getting into those kind of positions. Sanic Dua expression made it obvious that the topic was difficult for him. At the same time, it was ti- time enough that I asked some of this stuff. He invited me here to have it all out in the open thing with was and being a cop where both triggering this se- uh, seemed to put him in such a shitty mood and I whether look uh, <coughs> and I whether look under that band-aid once then keep excellent poking it. You mentioned bad decisions. Is that what you what led you to be in a bouncer weather then when you were a cop, uh, it seemed like a little hard to talk about, but you saved Jason's life. Why did you quit that? It's it's a long story, Keeper. I haven't really talked to anyone about this in years. I trust you with it, with it though. Sending Wies out for a, set, uh, for a sandwich health, exhale deep and lean back on one arm as he took the big Phil Wise piece out of the middle. In a huge bike, he congitated for a moment, seemed to decide where exactly to start and what order to tell the story. Okay, 
back before I work, worked armor just a couple of years before. I just finished training to be a cop. I was real queen, you know. Felt like I could take the on the whole world. So you liked it? You kidding me? I loved it. It felt like I really was making a difference, you know. My <coughs> my partner, you know, the guy, the team you are with, where when you working, the beat, he really helped me get through a lot of rough times. I get that makes sense. I know that's much from cop movies. Was he big or was he big and burly like you or are we talking about a young skinny Seneca? I smiled and imagine standing in one of those body cops movies from the eighties who was who was I kidding said it looked like he could binge the young younger kid from high school onwards. He was definitely the bigger cop. <coughs> nah. <coughs> he was smaller than me, but I respected him. He was a le leafer, committed to it. You know, I look up to him for that. He fought me everything I know. You see, that work out when I was just a whelp, whelp uh, didn't really have much of a father figure in my life. I guess he sort of fit that role. He told me when I was doing stuff wrong, told me when I did good too, which was the at first. I guess you two get along really well then, more than well, which and I will you were we were the best of friends. It's not like the Stone Age or whatever, but he was the first guy in the force I've told about being into guys among other friends. I could see the blood leave Senec <coughs> cheek as he swell swallowed another bite of his sandwich. He looked like he's just eaten ash. I sat there quietly listening to what my new friend had to say. I got the feeling it was best to let him speak on his own terms and his own peace, pace. I nodded along doing my best not to make it seem any bigger an issue than it has clearly was. We got a call about a robbery. This, this pet, this pet, this pet said, <laughs> this patch said, the guy was holding up a convention store with a knife. We were the closest patrol, so we responded. Uh, we got advice to wait for backup, but I had a fire in me when I was younger. We said we should wait, but I didn't listen to him. We could handle it on our own, at least that's what I thought. As a hot-headed rookie, I barked into the store, gun in hand, which had no choice but to follow behind me. It was just a scary, scary kid holding up the clock with a kitchen knife. Uh, I did all the stuff you're supposed to do, try to shout him down, freeze, drop your weapon, we all, we will fire all that shit. I figured he crapped his pants seeing two cops with their guns thrown like that. He, <coughs> he pulled out a gun he had in his coat pocket and shoot at me. Jeez. I thought that was m it for me, but everything happened so fast. Wiz had pushed me out of the way. Maybe he uh, clocked the gun uh, the gun in his pocket while I was watching him put the knife down. He took the bullet for me. The store clock grabbed, the ba grabbed a bat from under the counter and knocked the kid out, but, but it was too late. I couldn't believe. <coughs> I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I imagined what had happened was exactly wha where, but they having to go through that with his partner and mentor, I had no idea. I swallowed hard. I could see Sa Sanic fighting back the anger. I was an idiot, and I got him killed. If it wasn't, if I wasn't such a headstrong fucking kid, I 
I didn't say a word. I moved in closer so I could wrap my arms around his midsection and leaning close, he sighed deeply. Toast, toast the crunch of sandwich off across the field and wrap uh, an arm around me, squeezing me some of his frustration out. Then keep a snowball. I beat myself up about it for so many years. Heck. Ha, you think I get bored of beating myself up over it? Just stopping, I guess. I'm guessing that's why you quit the force. Yeah, that'd be why. I was a miss. That's why Jason bringing me flowers as a thank you after so long. After you, af uh, thank you after uh, so long spoken spoke, spoke me. As a thank you after so long spoke me too many memories. White flowers from his funeral. White lilies every week. I go there. I go to the same place on Third Avenue. Lily flowers. Shop. Buy the same bouquet of lilies to take to his grave. But after a while I just wanted to forget you know. Well no I didn't want to forget. I wanted to get unstuck and let things start moving again. So that's how you ended up at Amiens as a bouncer right? Mm hmm. You got it. And that's also when I miss Rose. It was much nicer when I first met him. Being in this state I was... I wanted to forget about my past. I kind of lost myself in that guy. Yeah, he seemed... Well, he didn't seem so nice when we met. He was getting bored of me, I think. We never were a couple or anything, but he get me to wrangle the cute guy for him and vice versa. <coughs> when I was coming out of my shell more. I'd be lying if I said there weren't more than a few threesomes in uh, his charm, his look. Yeah. His charm, my look. Heck, it was hard to say no to a couple of guys like us, but I realized it was getting to be more of an escape. I was becoming too depending on him to actually strike up a conversation and have fun. <sighs> It did almost seem like he was holding your lease back at the club. No friends. No thing. None thing. We still had our little. Oh, they're so cute. What do you think game going on? I think it was getting better. And I was getting to talk to people more than just being Rose bonus cell. But he just reasoned out that I didn't want to be with the guy or girl. And take them off by himself after I help introduce him. That was his stupid game. If I got someone then insisted, but they were interested in both of us, then he got to decide if I could play. Maybe sense at the time. Made sense at the time. Don't ask me how. I guess the reasoning was that I was uh, reasoning was that if I was looking for something. More some sense a little, but the person was looking for fun enough to mess around with me and him then they were my type. I, it was just stupid. I wasn't getting to meet new people and he get me wild up only to remind me I wasn't looking for something casual with him and shut me down. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wouldn't be anywhere else right now, Sanic. Thank you for telling me all that. I must have been hard, but I'm glad things are a little clear between us. I was a little worried was was your boyfriend for one you for one you a sweetheart of all, huh, Sanic? Ah uh, yeah, well, you're pretty adorable yourself. You can flatter me on and not expect to get some back. There it was, that big smile finally returned. Like a sunshine lighting up his features. I hate to seem so upset, but in a way, it was good. He got that all off his chest. Sanic took a deep breath and sighed. He chuckled, looked, looked, 
lock eyes again. I blink a fir- first heat rise into my face. Neither of us spoke a word. I could feel my heart beating wildly. I took every detail of his face. Could he see me blushing? He was blushing too. A smile blade, um, a smile blade on my lips. I couldn't take it anymore. No one said it wasn't with Rose, knowing he wasn't wanted something more with someone. I just had to have it. Before I, he could react, I lean in, snuffle on my knees over the panic blanket into the lean in to kiss him. He seemed a little surprised by it, but certainly went along with it as he tittled onto my lips. Mm. Nothing else really matters in that one moment. I could feel his arm wrap around me and pull me up against his chest. His last sun big scaly frame frame passed up again me making me feel small and soft as he wrapped himself around me. His solid muscle form only made the feeling of pressing into me more imitating Im, Im, in me intimate Im, <laughs> intimate 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 no, there was intimate intimate I hike one leg up over his hip to better li- live with myself as we kissed his tongue open to me dancing with mine rolling again each other to the music of our surprised dusty groans our hand boom and explore each other's body my palm running down to uh, the ins- intricated whip of his back muscle under his wings a last claw hand come to rest on my wump feeling the curve of me before he got a handful as she went down my spine out my spine I broke the kiss which survived me somewhat as I made no conscious plan to do so as the st- strand of sli- uh, Salvia's wink in the sun between us before breaking loose on Sanic's Sen- chin, he gave me a curious, playfully l- lonely look, puppy like, for a moment as he whipped his chin and looked around. Nobody seemed to be looking this way, not that it was a big, particular pack spot. I got a few skills of my own, Sanic. I got, I'm not gonna let you have, it, have all the fun. I smirked devilly as Senate till his head in confusion, trying to wake me out as he was about to say something. I pressed harder into him, using my weight to knock him off balance as I lifted his hand to throw himself forward. Success his wing his wing spread to catch himself. I leaned over him further and with a groan he toppled back in Seems slow motion like a tree coming down. Told you I had a plan. Little devil. Zanik, we should, con- uh, we should continue this another time. I don't want to draw an audience. Zanik had turned uh, weather in the cheek. I made to move and he kept me there on top of him with his hand on my thighs. I call this a pretty successful picnic, wouldn't you? Consider we laying all over some. We consider we laying all over some of the snack. Maybe not the best picnic, but the hell of a date. But one hell of a date. I don't want to watch to our first day play play time before work, but I just but just sit there for a little longer. Let me at least savor that before we have to go off. I smiled, feeling his wrist right at the heart of my own do on the matter. If we weren't able to do anything more today, at least wanted to go home with the thought of him in my mind. I didn't need to not my ascent. I simply lay forward, letting our ch- uh, crush meet as we share a tender kiss and lift that heat between us. Ki- kindling for as long as we dare 
when our Lord has settled a little, I slipped to the s- his side as Sadek lay out in the middle of our picnic, not hooking the black hooking, hook, hooking, hooking the blanket, but taking in our spade that his inviti- invi- invitating smile showed that he need to cuddle up a little. I shifted a couple of the half-empty bags and took my spot at his side, feeling a little, me- a little meek as I wasted my hand on Sennick's chest. I tried to think when the last time was I laid with someone like this, being the one using someone else's chest as a pillow, despite Sennick uh, being the one bearing it all and sharing his story, I couldn't help but take some comfort from laying with him too, my hand idly running over his, the soft fabric of his top as I listened to the deep, slow breath thing and the quiet tough of his heart, tuck, 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 tuck of his heart. After uh, the heat of the moment had passed, Sanic touched my shoulder with one hand, drew my eyes open again. Had I dozed off a little on him, the little world that was us smelling of our sun baked skin and the grassy field. I shifted a little as we were laying side by side, Bob one on one arm, close enough that we could talk at at a whisper if we wanted this next Sanic had brought on doubly cooking a little in the heat were mostly forgotten. We picked at we picked at the food uh, partly just because it was there. Sanic had a cold sweet tea though though it is and the soda were slowly heating under the pleasant sun. We shared the afternoon here and here together, trading stories back and forth along with the food. Sanic had a couple of suggestions for local jobs that might end my employment horse was 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 employment was the darker of the topic idea box after Sanic's cop story, but mostly we just mumbled together, sharing stories of past events. It was good to just speak casually, even if it was just about long past high school. Nonsense, the to- sto- story dragon was better company than he gave himself credit for. <laughs> oh my god, I've been. Oh yeah, ah. Uh.